11 signs you're dating a narcissist and how to get out of the relationship. A true narcissist thinks the world revolves around them. Dating a narcissist can be very problematic as it might end up making your life difficult and unpleasant. No relationship that relies on a single person is going to be fun. A great relationship is a two-way street. If your loved one only cares about themselves, then the narcissism relationship won't last for a very long time. The problem is that you don't always know that you're dating a narcissist. So you have to wonder, what signs should you be looking out for? Here are the signs. Number one, they only talk about themselves. Are they a narcissist? If they constantly talk about themselves, then that's most likely the case. A great relationship is going to focus on the both of you. If the entire thing focuses on a single person, then that's not okay. It will end up damaging and eventually terminating the relationship. That's why you want to address this properly and stop things in your path before it becomes too problematic. Number two, they don't care much about your feelings. If you say something you want and they just ignore you, then most likely they are a narcissist and doesn't care about your feelings. The best thing you can do in a situation like this is to tackle everything properly and ensure that it all works out as expected. Number three, they always try to be right. Is it an annoying to be with a person that always wants to be right? Yes, that can be problematic. So you need to find a way to keep them grounded even if they constantly believe they are right, even if they are not, then that can be a problem. Number four, they challenge you often and not in a good way. Narcissists tend to challenge other people to become emotional and share an answer on the spot. They believe they are intentionally superior and nothing can challenge them. Obviously, that's a problem. And if you continue dating a narcissist, this will only get worse. Number five, a loss of interest. Yes, most narcissists tend to be devoted at first, but they lose interest fast. That's something you will notice as your relationship continues. Whenever you see this, you need to step away, as it will end up damaging your daily life and your relationships with other people. This is one of the signs of a narcissist that will appear in time, but it's still very important. Number six, they believe your emotions are a weakness. The truth is that emotions make us who we are. If a person tells you that emotions make you weak, then it's a good idea to stay away from them. You want to be yourself and not listen to someone that wants to shape you the way they want. You want to focus on being yourself and not worry about how others perceive you, as that's what matters the most. Number seven, no respect for your boundaries. Narcissists tend to have their own boundaries and demand you to respect them. On the other hand, a narcissist won't really respect your boundaries. That's one of the things you will learn early on, and it's not going to be pretty at all. Number eight, a narcissist tries to control every action you take. The most important aspect you want to focus on is to be who you want. If somebody like a narcissist tries to constantly tell you what to say and what to do, then that's not okay. You are in a relationship. You should always have a say. No one enters a relationship to be controlled. If that happens, this is clearly not the right person for you. Number nine, the narcissist believes everybody likes them. That's definitely something that happens often. A lot of narcissists think that they are the center of the world and no one is better. While that can make them very confident, that's just not true. If you see any sign like this, then you're clearly in a relationship with a narcissist. Number 10, 
A history of bad breakups. Yes, narcissists tend to have a history of infidelity and a lot of breakups. If you see that, then it's most likely a sign that you're dating a narcissist. You want to step away as fast as possible to avoid any issues that might arise in a situation like this. Number 11. Narcissists only collect friends that idolize them. Most narcissists are surrounded by people that idolize them. If your loved one has only friends that idolize them and which they bully or don't appreciate at all, then most likely you are dealing with a narcissist. Handling this situation wisely is very important as the last thing you want to do is deal with a narcissist in your relationship. These are clear signs that you are dating a narcissist. It's very important to take action early on. Most of the time, you can't really change a narcissist, so the best thing you can do is to step away. How to break up with a narcissist. Here are some tips to help you break up your relationship with a narcissist. Start working on your confidence level. Remember, you deserve to be treated better. Reach out to your friends who understand where you're coming from and can give you emotional support. And reach out to people who are close to you, that are realistic and carry a high level of strength to keep you grounded and give you the motivation you need. Get some professional help with a therapist who specializes in relationships and look for support groups in your area or online. Yes, they might seem like a great fit at first, but in the end, you'll see that he or she only cares about themselves. When that happens, the best thing you can do is just to go away and find someone that really appreciates you for who you are. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Each week we get new videos in that will make your life more happy, healthy, and productive. Also, check out these cool videos that I selected for you. I think you'll like them a lot.